Okay, got a tournament match this week. So I'm looking at doing some oddball opening. That's just blocked it there. I just totally forgot I was doing oddball opening. So I need to stretch it out. Let's just go here. I'm just going to do stuff I don't usually do at all in any way, shape. Get it out of my system. Let's just bring the bishop here. May as well bring the knight here. So this structure already is um, not what we play. And I was going to dare to do that, but I think that's a little bit too risky. Let's do it anyway. Let's do it. They'll be chomping at the bits. Get the queen down here somehow. Bishop's going. Let's take. And let's see. What can we do? None of that. What spaces have we got? Attacking the pawn. Always for the B pawn. Let's go always for the B pawn then ourselves. Yep, just doing an odd ball opening. As you know, I don't open like this. But if the opponent's training against you, then you know they may utilize standard prep opening type stuff. So we need to break away from that as best possible. And just play chess. Okay, so the queen's gone back. We've made them do something they didn't really want to do. How do I get this knight out of here? I'm going to push this pawn up. Make some space for the bish. Get that maybe on maybe the knight first. Then come here with the knight. Yeah. That's the mini plan. If we're allowed to do that. Can't get my arrows done. So I think they're going castling now. Or are they bringing their knight out? Either way, it gives us time to get this knight here. And potentially to there. We did say the knight was coming out, so we're going to bring our knight here and look to come here to attack the bishop. It's not to say we're going to take it, because it depends on... I think he looks like he's probably queenside castling. Because so I didn't really want to open up this area if we're going to kingside castle. So that's probably why we wouldn't take the bishop if it just sat back over here. So it looks like we're giving them things to think about. I think they've got options, haven't they now? So which side do they go? I think if they spent all this time moving their pieces here, I think they're going queenside castling. I can't queenside castle because the bishop is blocking. Oh no, actually I can. It's only if the bishop is blocking the passageway for the king. Yep. So there's been... There's been a lot of confusion around that in the past. But yeah, if my king, king was here and I was trying to um, castle on this side like that, because the bishop is blocking. Anyway, the computer will tell me if I can or can't, but that's the rule. If it's blocking the king's passageway. Might be something to put in your mental Rolodex just in case you're ever in that situation. Same with like the queen. If the queen's there and it's coming here, you can still castle if you were going to dare castle. Yeah, so they've gone and castled. So we're going to castle. There we go. Yes, exactly. Because the bishop's not blocking the king's passageway. So now the big fight is on. And we're going to continue attacking the bishop because we had the plan of bringing the knight here. And we did want to attack the bishop, but we don't have anything supporting it at the minute. The rook is, but our knight is in the way. And our queen is blocking this way. So we could look to move the queen up a bit. Or we could bring the queen across. Still make trying to make it look like we're going to put checks on the king. Gives them something to think about. So I'm going to bring the queen here. But realistically, I'm wanting to make space for my knight. So that the bishop can actually come and attack their bishop. So we're going to hit their knight. Gets our queen further up the board. If he takes, so we'll take. K 
King's going to the other side of the board now. He's fed up. So the plan that we said was we wanted to attack the bishop because we've got the support from the rook. So we can take, and I think they'll probably take here because they'll be wanting to pressure this pawn, but it doesn't look as bad now. So what I can probably see happening is pushing the pawn here, then the rook wants to come and put pressure on the queen. And our queen looks like it will potentially be trapped. I'm going to take the bishop in the first instance. So they do take. Now let's have a look at the tail of the tape. We did say if they potentially come here, our queen is probably going to be trapped because the rook's going to come down. Queen can't come here. Can't take there. So we can just move the queen out of the way. I think... Is there anything else? Is there a check on their king? Knight can't move there. Pushing pawns. Push, push, push. No. Nope. Let's just bring it back. They may continue with this. Okay, they're looking for doubling up on this side. So shall we push this pawn up? All right, so looking for the same type of thing again. So if he pushes down and if we pushed up, just to stop that, then his rook comes down, attacks. Our queen has a space, which is here, attacking this pawn. So we're going to continue pushing this pawn up. Let's attack the knight. So might as well take the knight. That's a little bit different to what we expected, but I'm probably looking for... Oh, it's attacked already. Have I, am I too late to the party? Queen comes down, or just simply take. I think we just take, don't we? Let's just take with the queen and take with the pawn. We, I don't think we can defend this pawn. It's going to do on pass on type thing. Oh, okay, right. So if we come here, attack this pawn, king probably comes to defend. And if we hit the rook, then we lose the pawn. If we go up, he drops down. But push here. He can do the on pass on thing. Goes here. And then his rook comes down. Can we save anything? Not too sure. It looks a bit murky. So how do we can we get this rook involved? Pushing the pawn up onto the pawn. Does he take or not take? I'm gonna push the pawn onto the pawn. This one looks a bit fruitful. It does take. Um, hmm, okay, so that's open. So this pawn is here. Rook could come here with the support, but like we said, on pass on is going to happen. Yeah, so we can't save that pawn. Our king can come and defend, although he might just take the rook off the board. So then he's taking this, but now our king can support. And can support again. Rook's in the centre of the board. Um, could come down and defend. Let's just go backwards. So it's even Stevens with the pawns and everything. So we could push up. This pawn pushes down. Then we can't defend this pawn. So we take. Then he takes. Or we can play it safe and just bring the king back down. I like the king going upwards though. It looks more attacking there, but then he attacks us. We take, he takes, but then he gets more pawns, doesn't he? So let's just bring the king back. Kings, oh, my rook looks a little bit jammed in there, don't it? Protecting this pawn. Uh, and he's got an active king attacking our pawn. Looks like our pawns are all disappearing, don't they? So if we go... No, we can't go up. We can't go up. Because his rook is just going to put a check on us, win the tempo. So I'm just attacking as best possible, but our pawns are disappearing. I can't even bring the king up. Let's go here. He wins the tempo, and he can come across and defend. Oh, he's not done that.
He's not done that. If we come across, he still comes across here, but then we can maybe push the pawn up. Okay. Let's hit the king. Oh, drat and double drat. Let's go back. Let's move up. Let's move up. Anyway, I'm squishing the king by accident. Let's move up. Let's attack a pawn. Come on, there must be an accidental. Let's, shall we move this way? Yep, move this way. An accidental checkmate. Uh, he's got my pawn here. I think that was the wrong way. I should have been supporting it, shouldn't I? E... Right, what's the error? This king goes down. Top of the pawn. Attack the king. It takes. Ooh. Oh, comes to defend. There's not much we can do, really, is there? Oh, he hasn't come to do. Ah, oh, he's doing magic tricks. If I take the pawn, and he comes up. I take the pawn, he goes up with a check. I come here, and it's a draw, isn't it? Oh, no, he's not done that. <laughs> I bet they were planning on doing that, and they realised that, oh, no, the king can actually take the pawn. So I think if we go like this, because his king's too far away, and we can get our king here in time to get the pawn off the board. Oh, yes, yeah. Yeah, so we'll take. And it's a draw. Lovely game. Okay, they've asked for a rematch. So this means we're going to get our hide handed to us. Let's just focus. Oh, we said we were going to. Well, in fact, that was the duff opening one anyway, wasn't it? So it seemed to work out okay for us. Now I've gone back into a bit of a normal state here. I forgot I was doing that. But never mind, it's okay. Practice is practice. Let's just bring the bishop here. Shall we get this bishop out? Castle. Keep it nice and simple. Shall we take? Sure, we can't do that just yet. Um... Hit the bishop. Shall we take? I'm, I'm missing something here. What sort of tactic is going on here? They're just giving the bishop up for some strange reason. Uh, just move the king. Move the king. I don't know what's happening here. Move my queen off of the line. Attack the pawn with the rook. Get the knight up attacking this pawn. Fork, fork. Oh, we've got them on the defensive again, which is good. Now we could attack the queen, but we lose the pawn. Oh, it's not falling for any of this stuff. It's wanting to get closer to our king. We need to be steady. Right, what's his, what's the deal here? Queen, king, 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 attacking this pawn, he has, looks to be covered, doesn't it? Let's attack the pawn. Maybe get the knight in here, attacking this pawn as well, or getting around somehow.
bishops over here as well. But my king is home alone. Got to really bear this in mind. So I think this is jumping in, isn't it? This pawn is loose if he does that. But I think the thinking of that one, that looks quite awesome, doesn't it? Whoosh. I'm not sure if that doesn't really have much weight because he's just going to take and could look for an exchange type thing. No, he's stopping all of that off, so we could go for, look for an exchange type thing. <clears throat> Is that going to be bad for us, though? Then his queen starts making its way around, attacking three pawns. Let's attack, see what happens. Do we get rid of the queen? We've got a minor piece up, so probably if the queen does exchange, I might not, but let's go. No, it's not. Damn, making it harder. So, if we put a check on the king here to bring our queen back into the game, and plus protecting the pawn as well. So if we went and attacked his queen, he's going to take the pawn. So, mm, don't like this one really. Don't like this one. We can't attack here. And he's actually on this pawn. I might have to give this pawn up, you know. Then he's going to be on this pawn here. I think I'm going to have to because I could have brought the rook up maybe, but rooks don't have any place in the centre of the board. Yeah, we knew that was happening, kidder, and potentially this one, but I think we'll go here, then he'll come down for the bishop. So he'll come here for the bishop. And he's put a check on, so we can hit him with the bishop. Smaller piece. Hit the queen again. And see if there's an exchange again. Looks like they're not wanting to... Oh, okay, they have. Just do what the rooks do. Try and own the file. So it looks like the bishop sacrifice they did earlier. It was They saw some sort of tactic, but it just didn't. So if we go here, then we could take this pawn because we have the x-ray through to the king so i'm going to do that take and everything's on oh and they've resigned nice game excellent two good practice sessions for the tournament match excellent